talked a lot about the main event tonight. Should be an interesting battle of the, we saw different styles in the Elimination Tournament Championship. How about this one? You've got Oleg Taktarov, the Russian Sambo expert, never has submitted against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu three-time champion and Henzo Gracie. So this should be some outstanding kind of different style again as Brazil and Russia in the reality super fights. Now before tonight's matches, we talk with both of the combatants. Here's what they have to say about the main event. Henzo, your family's name has been synonymous with quality in martial arts for a long time. What was it like growing up in such a legendary household? It was amazing. We are uh, we a lot of people, like a lot of brothers, and was always fighting to see who was going to sit on the head of the table. <laughs> But my brothers always loved me, so they always let me stay there, <laughs> even if they could beat me. <laughs> That's funny. Now, for 75 years, there's been a no-holds-barred fighting in Brazil. Do you think that gives you an edge of any sort? Yeah, I think so, because like what most of the people who are watching today, we have been seeing this since the early times. So we try to improve and, and make what really works to put in there, not only the fencing stuff. I can tell by looking at you that you're an athlete. Did you ever compete in any other sports or was it always martial arts for you? I tried soccer because everybody in Brazil plays soccer but I was terrible. So I tried surfing. I, I, I went pretty good. I, I got a professional surfer. But I give up because my passion is on and keep going the work that my family have been done for the last 75 years. Now you're considered one of the lighter fighters. Is that a disadvantage of any sort? No, they say that the best poison come in small package, so <laughs> <laughs> I hope that that's true. <laughs> you have a really good sense of humor, and I think most people would expect differently from a fighter. Is that important to you in terms of keeping a balance? Yeah, it's like I don't try to be what I'm not. I'm, I'm like that all the time, and, and I believe like the sense of humor is a superior way of intelligence. I'm not just a bruiser, I'm a thinker too, you know. I try to breathe a lot, I try to get as much information as I can from the world. Well, that's interesting because I would assume that most people would assume differently of fighters. And that's enlightening. Um, now both you and Taktarov have not submitted. Yeah. What kind of pressure does that put on you? None. I don't have no pressure. I don't have no obligations with nothing. I'm going to do my best. Okay. Now, sometimes they say that the losers say they will do his best. I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. And I'm going to do my best. Why Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Why is that a superior method of fighting? The Japanese forbid to teach the, the Occidental people this kind of art. And what happened was they end up forgetting that too. My grandfather kept that tradition and we improved on that. And we, we had the chance to really put it in a fight to see how it works. That's why it becomes so developed and so good. So you just threw out what didn't work? Yes. And added what did? Yes. Seems effective. So if you want to show me some move that works, <laughs> I will be able to, to learn and use it. <laughs> OK. Now, what do you do when you're not fighting? Oh, I normally I'm with my kids, with my wife. I like to read a lot. I make my, I, I, every day I make myself to read two hours a day, every day. And sometimes like working out. But basically, I'm with my family or reading or teaching the American people the, the noble art. Well, look, I have to ask you, what was it like growing up in Siberia? Nothing special. Same like in Montana or uh, Wyoming. It's the same. It's not that cold like uh, people think. <laughs> it's real nice, clean air. You don't have to smell uh, those cars and stuff. <laughs> what was your experience like in the military? Uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty much fun. Right now, I mean, when you think about it, it's, uh, it seems like fun. but. Uh, you know, I had some pretty much dangerous situations. What inspired you to study the martial arts? Okay, first of all, I start from judo. I was um, 11 or 12 years old. I don't really remember, maybe 10. <laughs> I just remember my father took me in a judo school. It was like a judo samba school. In Russia, we did both. And um, I've been there until I was 17. After that, it was time to go to military. Tell us about combat sambo. What makes it a superior fighting style? I don't think it's uh, something special. Combat Sambo just uh, took the best, took the best, most effective moves. 
Of course, if I'm going to start doing something like with my fingers, it doesn't work. I mean, what a big deal. I mean, I have broken finger. OK, I, I can go. You know, so that's why uh, for combat samba, they choose moves with, uh, with really work in extreme situation. Now, you mentioned a couple times that you ha are interested in pursuing acting. Can you tell us a little bit about your career and who it is that you idolize? I've I done three movies so, uh, so far. Uh, Total Force 1, or uh, Total Force 2, where I, I'm a star, like major star. <laughs> Very nice. And uh, I said, like, I play kind of myself. And also I've done a movie with Harrison Ford. It's uh, Air Force 1. It's the biggest project of the year, and I'm really proud of that because I've been chosen by my acting, not because I'm a fighter. It was a 400 people who tried to get my part. And I got it. I mean, Wolfgang Peterson, uh, he's a pretty big director. And uh, he chose me personally. And, I mean, I'm really proud of this. Thank you, Julie. Congenial off camera, but certainly ultimate warriors. And now the test comes in the circle of truth, Taktarov and Gracie. Jim? All right, Craig, thanks very much. It's been an electric scene here this evening. And now. It's the moment that everyone has been waiting for. This is it, everybody. Gracie Doktaroff in the circle of truth. Let's go up to the ring, and here is Chuck Hull. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing at this time a young man who has been the heavyweight full contact jiu-jitsu cha world champion four different times. He has been the Sambo champion of Russia two times, and he is the UFC VI champion. Weighing in at 205 pounds, standing at six feet even, introducing the Russian bear, Oleg Tekparov. And his opponent, a young man who is a third degree in black belt, precision jiu-jitsu. He is 1993 and 94 open division champion. 
and he is also the 1995 World Combat Champion. From Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, at 5 feet 11, 180 pounds, introducing Enzo Gracie. All right, gentlemen, set us up quickly. What are we gonna see right off the bat, Ron? Well, we are going to see the Russian bear go to work. He can punch, he can kick, and he can grapple. Let's do it! Ellen? I think Enzo's gonna get inside and attempt to take him down immediately. Gracie sporting a protective brace on the right knee. Would that be something that, I'd rather uh, Takara uh, with the brace. Would that be something they might, uh, Gracie might go after right away? Without a doubt. There he goes. He shoots for the leg. Taktarov sprawled, a counter to a double leg or single leg. Maybe a little bit of a feeling out process between the two. Absolutely. Now, Henzo at, at his New York Academy will bring in boxers and other types of martial artists to train with, to be comfortable with this, even though it's not his primary style. Again, he shoots, and Taktarov counters. The kick, and Taktarov has the leg. And Gracie delivers the kick, and he's down on the floor. That's it. That's it. That's it. Gracie with the swift kick, and then the right hand. What an ending. Who could have predicted that? No one. What a great fight. Spectacular. A short feeling out process, and then Gracie got tired, I guess, of feeling out. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu made history today. And quickly, Takarov is being attended to in the ring by the ring doctors. Enzo Gracie delivered what he had to. He said they can't punch your kid. Wow. Just shows another dimension. Interestingly enough, too, it was an aggressive attack by Taktarov that got him into trouble. Perhaps Tom Erickson wasn't so foolish after all that to come in. Oh, they did not stop the bout. Or did they? Celebrating, believing it was over, Taktarov refused to shake hands. This one should be over. Taktarov obviously does not believe that it is over. And Gracie sends him goodbye. Taktarov refusing. How, how can Taktarov dispute this? The man was out. He was out. He was out cold, yes. Taktarov giving the instructions by the referee. I can tell you what, looking at Henson now, I think he'd like that fight to continue. Well, he gets out unscathed and he collects the winner's check. It's a big payday for, for Henson. But I don't think Taktarov's behavior is uh, endearing him. No, it is not. This time. It is not admirable. And they are waiting to raise his hand. Let's go to the ring. Here's Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner is Enzo Gracie. A lightning quick delivery by Gracie to end it in a hurry. And didn't they show us another dimension? Brazilian fighters can punch and kick. All right. They began as a standoff a feeling out process and then all of a sudden Gracie ended it quickly and here it is. He's out on his feet right there, Ron. Kick from the floor. And then quickly attacks and nails him. How could you not stop that fight? And immediately it is stopped.
And Taktarov continues to plead his case in the center of the ring to the referee, but it is to no avail. This one is over. What a shot. And then the right hand to close great, it off. Great kick punch combination from Grayson. You know, to see Taktarov complain now, the referee stopped him from sustaining what could have been severe damage. He had no way to defend himself. Henzo was right on top of him. Now, I, I believe with you 100% that the referee did indeed do the right thing by stepping in at that time. Without a doubt. Rod, you have seen fights end quickly, but have you ever seen them maybe end so suddenly that that, that, that one just caught everybody by surprise? Actually, this is a surprise to me. Actually, we've seen two finishing tonight that were completely out of the ordinary. Yes, both Juan, spectacular. Juan Mott earlier. Juan Mott's knee, that right knee to the chin, and now Henzo's finishing of Taktara. All right, let's go up to the ring. Here is Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of the participants in this excellent martial arts show this evening, the members who participated, those who have put this show together, we thank you for your attendance. Certainly hope to see you again in this arena in the very near future. In the meantime, on your way home. All right, Chuck Hall, of course, uh, thanking everybody in attendance for coming tonight. And the crowd definitely got their money's worth as Henzo Gracie delivered the knockout punch on Ole Taktarov. This was about which I think most people, including our astute analyst here, felt was going to go a little longer than what it did. It did not. Gracie made quick work. Let's go to Julie right now with Henzo. Julie? I'm here with Henzo. Henzo, kick to the face. People are going to ask for a rematch. What do you think? The people who said there was lucky. But as the more I train, as lucky as I got. So they can say whatever they want. I fight anywhere, anyone. What does this victory? What does this victory mean to you? It's another victory to my clan and out to to all the people who support me and who believe me, especially my my American students, who all the time keep pushing me forward. What is next for Henzo Gracie? Sorry. What's next for Henzo Gracie? Just keep fighting and keep teaching my art. That's my goal. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, that's Henzo Gracie right there with Julie. And once again, gentlemen, your final thoughts as we take a look at the end. Rod? Well, Tartarov came in, hands down, and the kick hit him in the face. Front kick right from the floor. With the heel right on the side of his face. And then he immediately attacks, Alex. Right hook to yes. the face. Right on top. It's that over. same position we've seen so often He's tonight. He's unconscious now. He just doesn't realize it. Immediately, Henzo's up, knee to the stomach. He's right in position now to deliver finishing blows. Yeah, that you, right hand, right. And right his arms, his arms are down at his side. He is absolutely defenseless. Completely. So, in your astute opinion, then the referee did indeed do the right thing by stepping in at that time. Exactly. I don't think there's any question about it. Well, gentlemen, we have had a sensational evening in the Circle of Truth. It has been the Circle of Truth, and it has been a sensational evening.